everybody, it's your boy Twin Plays here, back in our video. Hope you guys are doing amazing. So today in this video, we are going to be doing a recipe book. Now, for people who are new to my uh, my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notifications. Um, in this video, we're just going to be quickly talking about how to make a recipe book and going through the GUI and the scripts, which is also pretty easy. Um, and if you are new here to the channel, also put this in the description because we do host giveaways there and I um, help out people who are in need of help. Um, and my helpers also are a great help there. But, um, yeah. So, of course, guys, I think we left off with the last cafe episode as the cafe boards. Um, I hope these are working good for you guys. And um, feel free to comment below what else you'd like to see on this cafe video. I have a few more videos coming out um, for the cafe series. I mean, of course, I'm not going to just end it. But, um, yeah, just something cool about it. Um, so, we have this recipe book right here. It is going to be located in the cafe drinks and area. Um, the reason for that is you do want to put this inside the area where the cafe drinks or the cafe is going to be. Where the baristas are going to be entering because um, you don't want some other player clicking this that isn't a uh, part of the cafe so of course when you walk up to it it's gonna have this GUI that's gonna say recipe book and actually let me just put the play here button and we're gonna quickly show you what this looks like alrighty so basically when you play um, when you walk up to this book it's gonna be pulling up this GUI and of course it's gonna have a click detector now I decided to do click detector instead of proximity prompt because um, it's a little bit cleaner and uh, it's just nicer to do. Um, so you can just click this right here and it's going to give you this GUI. And of course it has this little theme. I match the color themes of course. And we have drinks and food. So let's say I want to go into food. Um, we have these buttons. Um, and then it's going to bring you to sandwich and salad salads because well, you don't need a recipe for anything else in here. I mean salad, sandwich you can do whatever. And then you're going to have a text in your scrolling fame. You're going to be able to go back and it's going to take you all the way back. Um, to the first one then in drinks of course same thing and then we have shakes coffees and slushies so we have shakes over here slushies and then the coffees um, and you will go inside and it will have the scrolling frame for you um, and then when you close it it's gonna be like this and it will say open book and you're good to just um, you know if you want you can open it using this or you can use it another way um, I recommend just doing the open book like this pretty fun um, but yeah that's about it and it, this will be given to the player that clicks it so you'll get the GUI um, but yeah, let's hop straight into the tutorial. Okay, so first things first is you're going to either go in the description and get the model or you're able to get the um, game. Now, just getting the model, you're just going to click one of the links and hit claim and you'll be able to get the model for you. Um, pretty simple and easy. Um, but yeah, so just feel free to get the model or you can actually get the game. Um, and I'll just show a little photo up here so you can do that. Um, but that's about it. And then you'll actually be able to get this in your game and there you are. So, um, what it's going to be is just this little book. Now, there's really nothing else to it. I just put everything in one thing, um, if I'm right. So, you're all good. Um, and inside, of course, we have um, a few things. We have a gray, gray block, overhead, and the model. Um, the model is basically just the book. You can move this how you want or make it or change it to what you like. Um, then we have the overhead, which is going to be this little... Uh, overhead like the GUI you can customize this by going to here you can do the max distance you can change that to how far they want to be able to see it go to text label you can change the font you know you can really do whatever you like to the book that's up to your choice um, but that's about it so yeah that's that's pretty simple stuff right there now inside we have the script and then we have the recipe book so it's pretty easy so um, click detector this is the click it's just basically gonna be uh, hovering over this box right here and it's going to be max activation distance from 10 studs. Um, so you'll basically be able to activate it from a certain amount. Um, you can increase this and decrease this to your liking. Um, then we have the script that we're just going to go through first. Um, so we're going to grab the local GUI, which is going to be script.parent. And we're going to grab a recipe book. And a function on clicks is just local function. When they click it, we're going to grab the click, which is going to be the player basically. And we're going to clone the GUI. So we're going to make another one of this recipe book. And we're going to set that GUI parent to the click of the the player GUI. So we're basically setting the uh, parent of the GUI to the player's GUI. Then um, right here, this is where we're doing the whole function. So when they click on the click detector, um, it's going to give them that uh, thing. Now, I don't know if this, this is going to be working on the thumb, I mean, mobile. I don't, mouse click is kind of weird. I'm still like just getting that down. But um, either way, just feel free to let me know if that works or not. Um, but yeah, so this is the GUI and we're going to talk about this because there's a lot of, there's a way I did this that was much simpler than going about like using it the harder way and like an easier way for you guys to set it up. But I just wanted you guys to kind of learn like the easiest way of setting up a GUI because this took me like a few seconds to set up. So easy. 
So in here, you have a few things, of course, just a GUI, the enabling, and everything like that. Now, you're going to want to keep this open. Now, like I said, so if you saw what I just did there, um, you can bring your GUI to start a GUI to see it and be able to change it. So in here, um, we have a few things, frame and open book, which is going to be closed, but you can turn this visible by turning it on. Now, I recommend keeping it closed, but feel free to customize to your liking. So the colors, you know, feel free to do whatever you like, um, but that's about it. Now, we have the frame in here. So this is going to be the main frame, and inside the main frame we have the drinks frame, foods frame, then the clothes, drinks, food, text label. So how this works is in the main script, it's a little, looks like it's a lot, but it's not too much, just a bunch of locals. We have basically the main locals, the frame locals, the drink frames, the food frames, the main buttons, the drink buttons, the food buttons, and then the functions. So let's say for the open and close button, what we're doing is we're setting frame.visible to true and setting open button to visible to false. And then for the close button, we're going to say frame visible to false and open button to true. So the frame is going to be this frame right here. So when we click this to visible, it's basically going to turn off everything and we're going to enable the other ones. So pretty simple. But for this one, we're talking about the drinks and the food. So what we're doing is when they click the drinks button, which is going to be this drinks button right here, we're going to set that drinks frame to visible. So what I'm going to talk about is right here. So what I did is I have certain frames. So we have the drinks frame, the food frame, kind of just separating it. And um, basically, all it does is it just opens up a few things. And all you have to do, really, is you can customize it to your liking. And inside here, then we have a few more. So now we have the coffee scroll. So let's say I open the shake scroll. This is going to pop up the shake scroll. And this is by just visible, making everything visible. So you can customize this to your liking. Um, and we have the back script, which is pretty easy. Um, it's just making all the, sh the scrolls, like, visible to false now I really like I said guys I don't really recommend touching anything too crazy the only thing I recommend is of course you can change the colors and that's about it and then inside the scrolls to customize these which you're gonna need to do I didn't make the customization for you sorry about that um, sorry don't send them all visible uh, let's do the let's say you want to do the shakes one so inside shake we have text labels and this is a UI list layout so this should be easier to set up um, and you might want to just tune that down a bit I don't know why that's so big there you go and then you want to go here and you can be like okay so for a shake you want to go um, I forgot what it was I think it's milk um, so you want to go let's say so uh, vanilla let's see here vanilla shake so you want to go milk to I think flavor to ice to shake mixer so like something like that that's basically what you want to do um, and then you're basically able to show what the recipes are and it's just a simple thing It's for people to look at um, and then of course when you're finished done editing you just visible off And then go to drinks frame visible off and then there you go That's about it. And then you're good to just put this back into the uh, gray block now I'll go through that just one more time just you can do all the visibles. It's pretty easy So food frame we're gonna be working the fruits now um, we're going to go into here. Now we're into the, when you click these, you don't need to worry about them. You can customize the colors, like I said. Um, what's one, let's say I want to do a sandwich. We're going to go in here, turn visible on, go to text label, and then I'm going to just get rid of this. Like I said, I don't know why that's so big. Oh, let's do that, sorry. Uh, make that a little bit smaller. And then we're going to go uh, just sandwich, you know, whatever. Just uh, six inch pepperoni. Yeah, you yeah. Know, sorry, I didn't spell, you know catch up <laughs> there you go so that's basically it then you hit visible and off and then you're good to go to food frame off then you're going to go to recipe book grab this and put it into here um, and quickly talking about if you add more frames um, pretty simple you guys you can just duplicate everything so don't leave this all I would recommend having open book frame just make these, sure these three things are right there don't mess with anything or that main script might be breaking um, but like in here so you want more frames and buttons you can just duplicate them so control D and then visible them change the names and everything and then go into the script and change that now for the back just make sure um, you are setting script parent to uh, uh, visible to false now what I'm doing is basically checking if any of these are visible if they are visible we're gonna make sure um, that we they're not visible so that's kind of what we're doing pretty simple um, but yeah so that's about it you guys I hope you did enjoy this video if you did feel free to subscribe comment like and share I have a lot more videos coming out guys this is just a little simple recipe book and if you guys like I said that's just the basics so you can add text you can add cool colors animations gradients 
You can add sounds and all that kind of stuff in tweens. So feel free to do that. I didn't do that because I want to just give you the basics of what the easy amount of it. Um, I will be making another video. If you guys want me to make an advanced version of this, maybe I will make an advanced version. Just something simple though. Thought I'd bring it out to you. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Happy holidays to everyone. And I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, stay safe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.